Right. You see me with this tractor in quite a few videos. Uh, I've done the driving, I've done reviews. Uh, but we all know that Harry loves a tractor, really. And he's got quite a few things to say about farm machinery, haven't you, really? Yeah. You're quite knowledgeable, really. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to go back inside for my toast. I'm leaving Harry with the camera to do his own very own review. And you know what they say out of the mouth of babes? So anyway, Harry, are you ready for this? Yeah. Right, I'm leaving you this. You know how to use this camera, don't you? Yeah. Do you want to take it? Okay. I'm out of here. Bye. Come on, you have to do your review. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to be doing a review on the Massey. And um, so I guess let's get started. So uh, let's start on the loader. So I like the loader a lot because in, on our loaders, it doesn't have these covers for the pipes. So the pipes are here, you put the uh, radio attachment on there and then you put the pipes on there. And these are like covers for them. So there's one there, then if we go over to here, there's another cover there for these four pipes which will lead down to the front. Um, there's also an AdBlue tank which we don't have on any of our tractors. Um, I guess it's quite good that um, you have it on this side instead of the other side in case you mix it up even though there is a blue cap to make sure that there isn't diesel going into the or whatever it's going in um these tires are wide tires um they're pretty good, big they got the um they put extra wide mud guards on um which are plastic so yeah like these ones which are on the front. Um, same with the front, wide tyres on there. Uh, let's go to the back. It's quite um, a standard hitch, I think. Um, it's a hitch like all of our other tractors. It's got the linkage, of easy. Um, it's got but the buttons up there for that. And then it's got the lights on the back. Then. It's got where all the um, cables and plugs will go into there. There's plug sockets there. Um, there's the PTO shaft where the PTO will go. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. Um, moving over here, we have the wide tyres on here again. So we have the um, possibly put a weight on there um, there's the toolbox which we'll just get up there so you can put all like your spanners and screwdrivers there in case um, you break down in the field which probably won't happen but you put all of that in there um, there's the diesel tank I like how you can see all the mechanics in the bonnet there so yeah, um, let's go up here. So, in the cab, here we go, we have, so we have the child seat here, which has, comes with a little seat belt um, there. And then we've got the dashboard here and the Massey logo on the steering wheel, which I like a lot. Um, I don't think it's too complicated. Um, it's very nice. We've got air conditioning, radio, speakers, air vents. Um, this is the the loader um, controls. It's this little stick next to all these buttons, which controls that big shiny thing. Uh, we have this is the gears. Um, forward speed up, backwards speed down. Uh, we got the nice armrests, which are very nice. Um, this is the windscreen uh, wiper motor for the back. It is a bit in the way, but I'd say if you were going to look around there, then it would be in a bit of the way. Um, we've got these little added windows here with little handles to open uh, in here. We've got a little manual thing and bag. 
nice to put some stuff in here. If you're going out for a day's mowing, you put your lunch in now, so, um, so that's nice. And there's a cup holder. Uh, over here, we've got all these levers and stuff. Uh, we've got more buttons up here. We've got lights, got beacons, wings, rain wiper. Um, this is where you start the tractor. Normally you would start it down there. You'd have the key down there and you'd start it like that. But instead they put um, put it there so you put the key in there and you have to turn it. I guess that could be so it doesn't get in the way of your leg or something. And carrying on down here, we have the lever to, um, to extend the steering wheel. You can put it up, down, uh, you can bring it forwards, put it back, all of that good stuff. Um, this has a sunroof and you can put that on there and it has little hooks there which you hook it on, put that back. Um, sunroof I guess is so you can, with the loader you can look up if you're moving bells, you can see it right up there. It's got a little cage thing there. Um, there's the accelerator, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Now, we saw this button and we weren't sure what it does. Uh, we were in the field moving the bales and my dad pressed it and we went flying. It basically puts in extra horsepower, I think. Um, which we don't normally, we don't have that button in the other tractors. Uh, and then here is the on and off switch for the PTO, which is down there. Um, ooh, I think that's it. It's pretty simple. Don't need to know loads for it. You just need to know how to drive it. I mean, it can't be that hard, can it? Oh, and there's the, uh, there's the, uh, I've forgotten where it is. Um... I don't know, I forgot. So, yeah, and then it's got the, so, we've got reverse, park, forwards, it's just a simple up and down. The horn, we've got indicators, we've also got windscreen wipers, and then there are more lights, um, the warning triangle, and then there's some other stuff there. So, that is my, um, also forgot that one, uh, my review on the Massey Ferguson tractor, which we have on demo. Um, if we were to buy a tractor, I would buy this one, because I quite like it. It's not that, it doesn't look too complicated, like there's not, there's not a screen there. There's not any buttons to do. We looked in some other tractors the massive Ferguson 8s and well there was a big panel here um, instead of having this this none of this was here that was all gone instead it had a big screen here and had a screen here which I wouldn't like because like what what if it didn't work and so it went horribly wrong so I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to have a screen there or up there. I'd, I'd like this as it is here. So that's my review on the Matty Ferguson. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.